Today I want to share with you early American drinks that'll be perfect for your 4th of July celebration. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferment, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, first and foremost, I want to wish my sweet friends here in the United States a very happy 4th of July this Independence Day. And hopefully this 4th of July is going to be a lot better than last year because so many of us are now able to celebrate with our family and friends. And for your celebration, I want to share some ideas with you for early American drinks that could be very fun to serve at your celebration. There are two drinks that were very popular during the 18th century here in colonial America. One is called a shrub and the other is called switchel. And these can be wonderful drinks to serve at any sort of 4th of July celebration, especially if you want to offer something to people who don't necessarily drink alcohol, but you want to provide them with a flavorful and festive beverage. Now, Switchel is actually a beverage that has many purposes. It can be jazzed up and turned into something that's fancy. However, it can also be thought of as a very early forerunner, more or less, to what we think of as modern day energy drinks. Switchel is very easy to make, and I have a video where I show you how to make it, and I'll be sure to link to that in the iCards and in the description below. But basically, all it is is apple cider vinegar, water, and molasses. Now, you don't necessarily have to definitely use molasses. You can use whatever sweetener you may have on hand. And that's basically what the colonists did. If they had molasses, great. If not, maybe they had something else and they would use that instead. Sometimes you'll see recipes for switchel where they'll call for sorghum syrup. And so that could be something that you could also use if you might have that on hand. And if you make this with raw apple cider vinegar, all the better. And if you'd like to learn how to make your own raw apple cider vinegar, I have a video that I'll be sure to link to where I show you how to do that. But basically, when you mix these ingredients together, this is something that would have been drank at room temperature when people were out working in the fields. So today, it can be something that you could mix up and drink if you want some sort of energy drink or sports drink after maybe you've been working in your garden or maybe exercising. It's very tasty, it's very refreshing, and it's very rich in vitamins and minerals and helps to naturally uh, refresh, in essence, the minerals and electrolytes in your body that you may lose from working in the garden or exercising where you're perspiring a lot. So you can definitely make Switchel to use it as an energy drink or a sports drink. But also, if this is something that interests you, I have a video where I show you how to make an electrolyte powder that you can then turn into a sports drink. And I'll be sure to link to that video because you might find that very interesting. And it's nice having a shelf-stable powder on hand that makes it very easy to then make a sports drink. But the fun thing about Switchel is that if you take the basic Switchel and pour it over ice and maybe put in a little bit of a, a fresh sprig of mint or a slice of citrus or maybe some berries or even a little um, carbonated water, maybe like a little fancy water like a Perrier or something like that, you can turn Switchel into what now looks like a very nice, in essence, mocktail, something that is like a cocktail but without the alcohol. So definitely think about adding Switchel to your menu this 4th of July. I think a lot of your guests or family, friends, whomever you may be celebrating with on this 4th will really enjoy it. The next 18th century drink that you can make that was definitely a favorite in colonial America is something called a shrub. In essence, it has a very funny name, but it's really extremely tasty. And just like Switchel, a shrub is very easy to make. All you're going to need is a little fresh fruit, some apple cider vinegar, some type of sweetener, generally honey is used, and some water. 
Now I have a video where I walk you through step by step how to make the shrub and I actually have two videos for two different types of shrubs and I'll be sure to link to those. But the process is very easy. You're basically going to mash up your fruit and strain out the solids to sort of get this nice puree. You're going to mix it with your vinegar and your sweetener. In, in the case where I share with you uh, in my particular recipes, I use honey. Then now you have your shrub base. Then you can take your shrub, you put a little bit of it in a glass, maybe with some nice ice and pour some water over that put a straw in, maybe put a little uh, sprig of mint or, you know, as I explained with the switchel or a, a slice of citrus, whatever you want. And then you can serve that as a mocktail. And shrubs are especially nice when mixed with sparkling water. They really make a fancy drink in that case. So they're very refreshing, tasty, and you don't have to worry about drinking a lot of it because there's no alcohol in it. Now, if you'd like more recipes from the 18th century, including how to make a buckle and hardtack and even salt rise and bread, then be sure to click on this video over here. And I look forward to seeing you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love, God bless, and happy 4th of July.